Hi. Now, if you haven't seen this question on probability density functions before, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video so that you've got time to attempt it. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Welcome back then, if you had a go. So, we've got to show then that for this probability density function that the constant k is equal to 4. And to do this, you've got to be aware of this idea that if you've got a probability density function, the area between your lower limit and your upper limit has to come to 1. It represents all the probability over this interval. So the integral of f of x with respect to x between a and b has got to equal 1. And so if we do this here, we've got therefore the integral from the lower limit, which is naught, going up to k of f of x with respect to x has got to equal 1. And so therefore, 3 over 32 is a constant. I'm going to put that outside the integral. It's easier to work with. You don't have to do that, but uh, I always find it's easier to put constants out the front, if it's one term, that is. And then you've got x times k minus x, and this is being integrated with respect to x, and it's got to equal 1. And to do this, we'd expand the bracket. So we've still got that integral then from 0 to k. Expanding the bracket, that's going to give us xk or kx. Let's put it as kx. And then minus x squared. Don't forget to put that in brackets, though, because you've got more than one term there. And you're integrating with respect to x. So if we just border that off there, we've therefore got... 3 over 32, and now we can integrate the first term here. That's going to be kx squared over 2. And for the second term, it's just going to be minus x cubed over 3. And so put that in square brackets, and then add the limits to that. That's going from 0 to k, and it's going to equal 1. So substituting for k, x as k first of all, we're going to have the 3 over 32 and then you're going to get k times k squared, so that's going to be k cubed over 2 and then you've got k cubed over 3. And if you substitute the 0 in, you're just going to get 0 across those terms. So we've got this, okay, and that's going to be equal to 1. Simplifying half k cubed minus a third k cubed gives us k cubed over 6. So you therefore got 3 over 32 multiplied with k cubed over 6. And that's going to equal 1. And I can see that you could cancel that 3 into the 6. goes twice. And we got 32 times 2, which is 64. Multiply both sides by 64, and you've got k cubed equals 64. And if you take the cube root of 64, then k is equal to 4. And that's what we had to show. Okay?